Call it recycled, rustic, or refurbished. Or maybe just remarkable. Chippy used architectural pieces like these get a second life in the style known as salvage chic. Our friend Melanie Miner is going to help us see the potential today. It's great to see you and everyone yes. who walks in. I feel like there's a piece of this style that appeals to almost everyone, which is inter yes. it's interesting to me. Even the most modern person I think out there as far as decorating styles go can appreciate the character that are in these pieces. Exactly, exactly. And they're pieces that have history to them and have craftsmanship and people with their hands made these. They're just, they're beautiful architectural salvage pieces that you can use at any type of home. So how does this, the style is evolving as yes. you're pointing out to us. How is this different than say, you know, the refinished dresser of 10 years ago where we were sanding and buffing and chipping it ourselves. How are these pieces or how is this look slightly updated now? So I would say the more unique they are, the better they are. Okay. So like changing wise, a lot of people don't want to have the paint on them. They just want to have them be the the naked wood. Kind of the raw, yeah. unfinished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So less is more in this case. Exactly, yeah. Because some of these pieces are pretty much wholly exposed when you talk about the actual, you know, core wood structure of the piece. So point out a few of your favorites and why you like them and how they would play into current okay. decor. So That's a tall order, sorry. I have to go with my very favorite. These pieces right here. So these pieces are actually from a house in... Massachusetts oh, that they goodness. were going to tear down and they were like we're taking those that piece and that piece and different pieces and I you just like I said you see the craftsmanship you see where someone had carved these out and put these they were above doors mm. so but you can use these in design like framing out pictures you can put them as um, framing over a door and you can even structurally put them into your door frame. So these are just fragments, but you're saying take yes. those pieces and put them as part of a gallery wall? Yeah, Or exactly. free floating on a wall even? Exactly, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I love when, I know not every you know consumer out there is going to be able to story tell the history behind these pieces as they pick them up at flea markets or antique stores, but I love when you're able to know the story. Like you said, yes. a house in Massachusetts, they were tearing yes. it down and these were saved, these were salvaged. That kind of yes. gives, I think, Pride in the piece that you're using it in your does. own home. And it brings, it brings like just warmness to your home and that you can have a story behind it. Totally. Exactly. Every home tells a story. Yeah. Tell me about kind of the shape of some of these more unique so items. So some of these, so these unique items, they are actually new pieces that we, so oh, you're kidding. they're starting to make them so you can buy them in the store and they're not as pricey. So what are we looking for so it will replicate kind of the old style that So obviously unique. these are like the gingerbread that you, they would put on houses, you know, the gingerbread houses. And yes. The, so, so these pieces, these pieces right here are gorbals that you would put they would put at the bottom of the fireplace mantles mm. or in the wall, the wall, the corner of the wall so that they could have just a little bit of that architecture in the house. So in addition to the shape, pin down the style markers for us. If we're shopping new but we want it to look old, we're looking for unique shape. Yes. And what else? For unique shape, for the, for the craftiness, so if it's carved out, um, even if you want ones that are more simple, it kind of depends on the style of your house too. If your house is a little bit more modern, you're gonna want something that's a little bit more just straight lines rather than carved all out and ornate. Less detail, less exactly. ornamental detail. Yeah. Yes. These are cool just because of the chippiness. I've yeah. been using that word a lot today and it's totally a word, right? <laughs> it the is. The chippiness on these appeals to me. Yeah, these are actually from a bed that we just, we found in an old house that they were tearing down in Centerville. It reminds me of, what's that old movie with Angela Lansbury? Bed knobs and broomsticks yeah, or something yeah, exactly. like that. It reminds me of the bed they flew on in that old movie. So it was the bed and we just took the bed apart and we're like, those would be really great things to frame things out or even to put in, if you're building like an island, you can use the big wood posts and use those in your, incorporate those into your island. So new islands, new counter, new home, but you've got that history and that storytelling yeah, so element. and that new kind of playing off each See, other. I would never think, and elaborate on the wall treatment, because I would look at that and think, I don't know what in the heck to do with it. So what did you mean with the wall treatment on those? So even just framing out, or even just using them as just an art piece. Okay. Like lining them up and doing art in between them, like a oh. shelf holder kind okay. of Okay, kind of gives yeah. you that that vertical line to exactly. anchor to. Yeah. Windows, are those still a thing? I know they were a big deal about 10 years ago. We were all trying to salvage old windows. <laughs> yeah, you know, it just depends. I, I would say that the salvage windows, you would use more in like a, 
like a farmhouse kind of a home. More of a traditional yeah. farmhouse chic yes, style yes. space. Yes, And there's so many different things that you can do with windows nowadays. You don't have to just have them with a wreath in or different things. And you can use the glass. We actually, this glass down here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we stenciled like oh my gosh. bakery on it. Yeah. Look how cute. Yeah, and it's darling and it gives it some... And the signs right now are really big. Like everyone has a sign with different wordings or different messages on them. Well, there's a newer been. spin, a newer treatment, if you will. You know, 10 years ago with these old windows, like you said, we were putting a wreath on them. Mm -hmm. We were dressing up the actual wood frame. Yeah. But the idea of treating the glass yeah. is kind of fun Even and the new. the glass in them. Yeah. All right, talk to me what you've done with this arrangement behind because it's sort of a shelving or mantle grouping. Yeah, yeah. So the mantle, this is actually a new mantle, a new piece that we bought that looks vintage. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And and then to use the architecture, it's fun to have a different shapes and architecture in your home. So so it's not the usual round clock or round wreath or different to have different elements and shapes. Totally. Totally. Yeah, together. I can see that. This is a good demonstration yeah. of that. Are there finishes or retouching methods that you can use to treat up newer products and make oh, them look older? Yeah, absolutely. There's always chalk paint, which we use in our store all the time, um, which is a really great way to put the paint on and kind of wipe it off and mm -hmm. give it that same patina that you find in the real, the real paste pieces. Mm -hmm. And you can always... I wouldn't suggest this, but you can paint these. <laughs> Are you a person that cringes when you hear like, about... please don't. <laughs> please don't. You could, but maybe don't. You could, but don't. <laughs> so, I mean, there's always ways to make them look... Sure. And, and even ways to make new wood and new things look old and vintage and marked up and... I think just seeing kind of the application of, of these pieces will spark a lot of inspiration in people. Also visit to your store, could do that as well. How yes, can we connect absolutely. with you? Absolutely. We're actually, we are having, we're going to be at Vintage Market Days in Farmington in two weekends. So the, I think it's the third through the fifth of May. Okay. Details yeah. on your website? Yes, absolutely. All right, Melanie. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Salvage Chic. We're in on it now.